All right, so I am going to talk about derived stores today. And so what I have right here is just a charity that you can give money to and a total that is based off of the charity plus a fee. So this is the, t uh, the total component, which is just cost to you, which is based off the total giving store in here. And then charity is just a component here with label and input, and it is bound to a store. The value here is bound to a, the value of a store. Okay, so right now it's just a writable store. So if I put four, then it's going to be four right there. But what we want to do is derive the total giving to be based off of this charitable donation. So to make a derived store, the first thing you're going to pass it is the charity or the store that it's based off of. So right now I'm going to put charity. And then you're going to pass it a function uh, that will return the new value to total giving. So let's say I put something like that. Then that's going to be the value of total giving. So you could put anything here if you wanted to, but the the whole point is to take this and have it factor into your value. So in order to get the value of this, you're going to pass it charity like that, or whatever the name of if, of your store is. And then you can use right here, charity plus five. So now it's going to be whatever this number is plus five. So 12 plus five. Um, so that would, that's, basically what this drive store can do. So um, another thing you might want to do is base it off of multiple charities. So here I'm going to have charity one and charity two. Um, and I got to update this charity two, put one, two, one, two, uh, charity's not defined in here. So just let me just put charity one for now. Okay, so now let's say I have two donations and I want to have the total given be both of them added up. So what you can do is pass a, a list object, charity one, charity two, and then in here you're gonna do the same thing, charity one, charity two, and now you're gonna have access to charity one and charity two. So you'll have charity one, so maybe you wanna add them together like this, so this will be the total of these two. So if this is four and this is seven, then you get 11. So that is basically what a drive store can do for you. Um, I'm gonna keep talking for a little bit, um, but that is basically just of drive stores. So uh, another thing you might wanna do is, let's say you have like a fee. So you're gonna have a const subtotal equals charity one plus charity two. And then maybe you have a fee, which is subtotal times like 5% of the fee. And then down here, you could return an object, which would be subtotal, fee, and then um, just total, which would be the subtotal plus the fee. Okay, and then here you'll have to do total giving dot total. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. And then if you wanted, you could put in here like fees and have total giving dot fees or fee. Okay, then it's gonna tell you the percent fees and you might wanna round that. Um, put that there. Yeah, so if I have like six, then your fees is gonna be this and the total cost will be this. So that's another thing you can do with derived stores. And you'll see that, so I've got these charities being used here, and then I've got this one in total is using um, the total giving store. So that's one use of stores if you're sharing. So you got all your stores right here, but then you're sharing data between the different components like this. Um, okay, I'll stop there, and that is all.